All aboard the cars and buses of the future, vehicles that drive themselves. And this video comes from a firm in Shirley near Soli Hull that has a whole division working on the idea. And their self-driving buses are already in service. So smaller versions of this vehicle are currently running around an airport in Belgium, transporting around 3,000 passengers a day. But the next generation will be bigger and it'll be fully autonomous. So it'll be capable of mixing it with real drivers on our real roads. Once we saw them start operating and how easy and convenient they are, then I think it will start to snowball. I genuinely believe once you start seeing these in the country, more and more people will want them. But as we start to depend on self-driving technologies, we need to take the idea of people trying to attack or even take control of vehicles from self-driving buses to the car on your drive very seriously. But what would an attack look like? One of the more benign ones was uh, you could control the volume of the, of the car radio um, or you could adjust the temperature of the air conditioning, turn the fans on to full blast. Um, but with a bit more effort, those particular researchers were able to disable the brakes of the car. Um, there's, a, there's a video on YouTube of that. And here is that video. Researchers in America take control of a car and message the computer on board to turn on the windscreen wipers. And then they go on to take over control of the brakes. Send in the command. And we brake. The hackers now control the braking system, not the driver. So if you make vehicles or automotive components with chips in, well these days you don't just need engineers, you need a whole cybersecurity team too. With cybersecurity, your job is really never over because new threats uh, come into play. So we may need to make sure that our, our skills and our knowledge and our tools are always up to date with well the latest uh, vulnerabilities out there. So it's thanks to the work of this team you can be sure the auto-driving vehicle of the future is always under your control and not that of somebody else. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Midlands Today, Shirley.